It's true. We as Americans and as people in general, we like to get deals. We like to find the bargain basement price for stuff that is just well built and quality. And that's pretty much true of everyone. And this pistol is going to be no different going into it. We're going to talk about all the pros and cons of it, different features, and kind of give you a brief overview and rundown of what I think is one of the most uh, sturdy built bang for your buck firearms on the market today, which is, bam, the Springfield XD9 Model 2 or Mod 2. And this thing is just amazing. This is such a well-built firearm, and I have had so much fun with this. I've had this since last summer and we've just done a lot of cool stuff with this firearm and we're going to get into that in just a moment so stay tuned all right so for all the safety people out there unloaded magazine unloaded chamber and for the purposes of this video all magazines and the chamber will remain empty so don't freak out about that we are going to give you a quick rundown here so there is an ambidextrous magazine release on this thing which i think is just super super cool because everyone knows i am a left-handed shooter so that is a huge benefit for me um, unfortunately, the uh, slide release is not ambidextrous, but that doesn't really matter because I very rarely use that anyway. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So there is a grip safety right here, just like your standard 1911s. Me personally, I do not care for it. I couldn't care one way or the other that that being there, it doesn't really hinder me, but it's, you know, it's there. My friend that shoots with me a lot, he actually really loves that. So. You know, to each their own. That may be a benefit to you. I couldn't really care less one way or the other. All right, so this model has the uh, suppression sights and the threaded barrel on it. So I would venture to say most of the ones that you're going to find on special are not going to have that. You may be lucky in that sense or unlucky. Either way, uh, I personally actually really like this model. This one's really cool, and I've always wanted to go so, you know, into the suppression world of things. I haven't yet gotten that route done, but, uh, you know, it's always an option now, especially with this being my only threaded barrel. I really like it though, I'll tell you that. The only thing that I do not like about it is the lack of holsters for this pistol when it has these extra features on it. So that's definitely something to consider. All right, so rounding out the rest of these features, you're gonna have the um, charged indicator, which doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, chamber is loaded, but it is gonna let you know that, you know, like you said, it's empty. So see how it goes away after you pull the trigger. It just lets you know that the firearm itself is charged. There is a loaded chamber indicator up here that pops up when there is a round in the chamber. Uh, it doesn't hinder or impede any kind of sight, but it is noticeable uh, when you're actually looking for it. I didn't happen to notice it when I was picking up targets, but either way, it is there. The uh, You can look at the sleek slide here. This thing is super cool looking. I really love the edges and the lines on this thing. It definitely has a, a nice look to it. There is a rail here on the end for your you know, mountain flashlights or whatever else, and yes, I realize this is not screwed on. This was temporarily put on this just for the video, just to show you how well it can you know, fit on there. It definitely looks sleek and it is super functional, so. All right, so starting off the pros list is number one, reliability, and that's always number one when you're talking about a firearm that's not just gonna be for the range. Anything you might use to defend your life or you're gonna carry every day, reliability is key. With this thing, I can tell you we've had it for almost a year and we have never cleaned this firearm. It has been shot so many rounds through it and it is dirty as all get out. So we'll pull this light off and I'm gonna show you something in here. So if you can see that feed ramp, it's got some, some shine and some dirt to it. You see it there? That's because this thing has had so many rounds through it that it is now a black feed ramp. When I first started, that was a polished silver, super shiny. And some people might complain about that. It'd be, you know, well, you don't take care of your guns and blah, blah, blah. Um, I do that with all of my guns brand new. I shoot probably 2,000 rounds through them without cleaning them the first, uh, the first time I get a hold of them because I want to make sure that they can hand up to, you know, handle the abuse. I don't want them to be pretty guns. I want them to be functional. Depending on the scenario, I want to make sure they'll run uh, without a good cleaning. Number two is its elegant ergonomic design. And that's because this thing is just honestly, it is so sleek and fun to shoot, but it also looks really good. I mean, this is the flat dark earth model, but if you look really close here at the... Uh, textured grip it is very very close dare i say even closer than the vp9 series to the p30 uh this thing feels awesome it's very very grippy so you, when you get your hand on here you're going to get a nice firm purchase and you're not going to get a lot of uh you know ag aggressive uh red spots in your hand from from holding on to this thing tightly it just feels like it conforms really well to your hand almost as well as the p30 and then when you're looking at this slide these grooves uh, 
they are not sharp, but they're sharp looking. So I'll tell you that. You can really get a nice purchase on the back of this thing right here. It's a little bit deeper of a bevel than the rest of these, but you can really just grab that thing and rock and roll. It is just super, super sleek looking, but also functional. And I love that about this gun. Number three is rugged design. Now I can tell you this thing is definitely built like a tank. The majority of this thing is made of metal. I'll tell you that right now. The trigger's made of metal. The sights are made of metal. The grip safety is made of metal. The magazine release is made of metal. Yes, does that add weight? It sure does. But you know what? It also adds durability. So as far as dropping this thing, abusing it, running through the woods, uh, hostile environment, whatever you want to say, this thing is stout. So you don't have to worry about the fact that it is going to uh, break when it falls out of your pocket or whatever you got going on. This thing is sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Number four being inexpensive extras. And what we're saying by that is all the stuff it comes with. So, bam. Magazines for days, holsters, speed loaders. All of this stuff came with this one when I purchased it. So, I will tell you this. I bought this gun used. It was used, but it had never been fired. So, that was a benefit to me. I got all of this stuff, which will tie into the the price, which is the last thing we're going to talk about here. But this was a steal, and these magazines are generally fifteen to twenty five bucks each, and they're all metal polished. And I'll tell you this right now, they slide in and out at this thing at will. It just is slick as butter. So that is super super uh, nice, and I love that part. But you can get these magazines at really really cheap rates, you know, all over the place. And if you're lucky enough. Um, you can go to uh, Springfield in the summertime, usually around Memorial Day, and they'll offer, if you buy this new, you may get a handful of magazines for free with the gun. So that's definitely a positive. These are 16-round magazines. That the gun's going to hold 16 plus one, so that's super cool. You may also get this awesome magazine carrier. I love that. Really, really nice. Speed loader. This holster sucks because of my sights, but it's probably good with the regular one. But I can tell you right now that this does not fit in here with these raised sights. So there's that. But the extras for this gun are rock bottom cheap. You would be, you know, hard pressed to find things that were cheaper than this as far as accessories are concerned. So that's definitely a positive. Okay, now to number five, the cost. So for everything pictured here, your speed loader from Springfield, one, two, three, four, five, six magazines, this magazine carrier a, and or holster, whatever you want to call it, uh, the, the holster that comes with it and the firearm itself, you want to guess how much I paid for that? Three thirty, unfired. Three hundred and thirty dollars is what I paid for this unfired. You can go online right now, and I'll show you a picture here. There's a ton of places that you can buy these firearms, specifically these models, the XD Mod Two, and you can get it for under three hundred fifty dollars. That is a steal for a firearm this reliable. That is just an awesome price. And if you go on the used market and find one that's in good condition, you could probably get it for less than $300. I'm talking in the 280 range. I have seen one go for that price. So I'm just going to say that, you know, all across the country, you're probably going to be able to get a good deal on it. So definitely look at, you know, Arms List and Gun Broker and check that stuff. But this thing is unparalleled in the cost to reliability ratio. So, all right, now the things I don't like. Let's see, just to show you again, it is empty. We're gonna squeeze the trigger just so I can show you. Number one is the reset. It's a little bit longer than I like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that is definitely something that is important to me. I like to have a short reset when it comes to these firearms just because uh, it helps a lot with follow-up shots. So when I was coming off the trigger during uh, you know shooting the videos, it's just a really long reset for me. It's, I'm not used to it being that long. All the other semi-autos I have, it's a much shorter uh, reset, you know, save the P30. Number two, muzzle climb. Now, I am not gonna sit here and tell you that I am the best shooter in the world because Lord knows and all the people on the channel, they know I am not the best shooter in the world. That is that is a fact, that is 100% truth. Um, one thing I did notice with these is that there is a substantial amount more muzzle climb with this firearm than with uh, all my other firearms. Now, could that be the shooter or operator error, whatever you wanna say? Sure, yeah, I guess it could be that, but is it really the a likely scenario when I'm pretty proficient with all the other firearms I own? Yeah, we'll leave that up to you to, uh, to debate, but the one thing I can tell you is that it is definitely uh, a higher bore access with this thing, so it definitely has a little bit more muzzle climb with this one, so if that's something that you're not entirely crazy of, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you might want to look elsewhere, but you know, for me, I'm pretty decently, uh, pretty decent at shooting this thing, so I really won't complain that much about it. I would just say that it's something to be aware of: is that when you start shooting this, it is going to jump around a little bit. Five on my list 
is the company's reputation. And no, that doesn't have anything to do with this firearm per se, but as the company as a whole. So I figured I'd sneak that in here. Uh, Springfield, I wanna say in 2015, had some bad publicity uh, from the Second Amendment community. They were doing something, I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, it was something negative out in Chicago about the, uh, I can't remember. You need to look it up. But it was something that was uh, very much frowned upon by the Second Amendment community. And it's definitely something that should be taken note of. You know, do you want to stake your life on a company that doesn't support Second Amendment per se? Uh, you know, you have to really follow up with that yourself because I can't speak on it. I barely remember what it actually was. But uh, do your own research, look into them, and see what you think. If you want to buy something from the used market, you don't have to directly support that company if you don't want to. So there's always that option. But uh, company reputation is definitely something to consider when purchasing a firearm. All right, fellas, like, comment, and subscribe. We have tons more videos coming. The summer is uh, on its way, so you know, stay tuned. Later.